So we are going to talk about name game. One of the most important things your dog can know is actually just their name. We usually use it for so many things and it means so many different things like don't do that, come over here, stop doing that. We use it as an interruption, as a redirection, but really it needs to mean that something good is going to happen. So this is really easy. It doesn't require a clicker. All you're going to do is say your dog's name and feed. So Cooper. He doesn't turn to look at me, so I'm going to go to him. Your dog isn't, isn't always going to turn to look at you. Cooper. And I'll meet him there. You can say it in different tones. Cooper. Not coming to me, so I'll go to him. Cooper. This is the beginning of a really strong recall. It's a great way to get them working. It's a great thing to do if you've got kids in the house. It's a great thing just in general to condition their name and power it up. So again, I like to do this up to 50 times or more a day, and it's simply Cooper B. And you can start to move Cooper. And it's to nothing else but their name. So you say their name once and you feed Cooper. Cooper. When you're really good at this, you can even toss one. So you toss it away. Good boy, Cooper. And then you can feed. So again, if they don't look at you, if they don't come, that's okay. You approach them. Cooper. And feed. Cooper. <laughs> and feed. So really, really simple, easy way. Cooper. Just to condition their name. You'll notice I'm not correcting him for jumping. Because again, we're just working on the name, and that just gives me feedback that we need to go back and clean up the jumping.